Welcome to the Prepped and Polish podcast, the podcast that empowers you to take control of your education, featuring weekly interviews with influencers in the world of education, as well as tutoring tips, lessons, and updates. And now, here's your host. Hi, everyone. Welcome to another tutoring tips episode of the Prepped and Polished podcast. This is Aaron of Prepped and Polished. Please be sure to check out our website, www.preppedandpolished.com. For tutoring in person or online, call us at 781-753-9951 or chat with us instantly on our website. You can join the Prepped and Polished community on Facebook and Twitter. Just search for Prepped and Polished. If you have a question after the show, please ask us a question on the chat feature of our website. We love hearing from you. Now, let's get right into episode number 236, how to best manage your SAT or ACT homework. Homework is an essential part of any kind of ACT or SAT test prep. When working with Prepped and Polished or on your own, it's important to know how to manage that homework so that as you're doing it, it's helping you better prepare for your test date whenever that may be. What we're going to be talking about today are a few tips and approaches that I like to incorporate in sessions with students to help them best manage their homework. First recommendation is organization. Um, As many people know, when you are trying to plan out your day or your homework schedule, it's great to have a planner of some sort to plan ahead, literally, uh, what you will be working on for the week or in between sessions. Uh, Usually I would recommend figuring out how many days you will need to prep or work through the homework or how many hours it could take you. Uh, Usually, if you're working with one of us at Prepped and Polish, we would be happy to kind of go over and structure out a game plan between sessions to see how much time you would need to plan out the homework so that you get it done in an orderly fashion so that you're not going to do what so many students do and work on it the night before or, worst case scenario, 10 minutes before a session starts. That is definitely not going to help you learn the material because that's the whole point of doing the homework is ensuring that you are learning the material, not just trying to get it done. Another thing to consider is reviewing before going into the homework. I usually tell students to take a little bit of time to review and or study any kind of strategies or content about the homework before jumping into it. The way I look at it is if you just go in without even thinking about it, is that what is going to be the best approach to answering the questions? I find that if I do a couple of practice problems beforehand or take some time to look over a study guide for formulas, it really allows me to then be prepared for what's going to show up. Also, this is a great way to practice come test day for either the SAT or the ACT to spend five to ten minutes reviewing anything and everything that you need to know for each section of the test before going into it so that your brain is already running so you hit the ground going throughout the test. Uh, Another thing that I mentioned before about organization is really the allocation of time. I'm a big believer of splitting it up over time. Don't go doing it the night before or the morning of, but also don't try and cram all the homework into an hour or two or, in worst case scenario, several hours worth to just try and get it done. The whole point of homework, at least for test prep, is allowing time for your mind and your body almost to integrate this information. I, uh, speaking from experience, it's never a good thing to study just the night before a big test or final. Same thing with the homework. If you do the homework bit by bit over the course of the week or however much time is in between sessions uh, for tutoring, you allow yourself to have that information become part of your daily regimen, your daily routine. And that is ultimately going to stick with you longer than six hours of intensive study for just the next day. It will dissipate or leave you by the time the next session rolls around or by the time next week rolls around. Another thing, I mentioned this, don't rush through it. Um, and what I mean by this is it's good to take your time to work through the material. Now, unless you're dealing with a time section, uh, you know, uh, 35 minutes here or 65 minutes there, then that's when you want to time yourself. But if it's working through homework, usually what I find most beneficial is actually taking longer to systematically approach the problem. I might list out steps, 
to get to that problem, or write down the formula necessary needed for the, you know to answer that problem. However, I do think that sometimes it's also helpful to include strategies that you used so that if you're working with your tutor, you can come to your tutor and say, hey, I tried out X, Y, and Z strategies. None of them worked. And the tutor can look at it, and hopefully together, you two can figure out a better strategy or a better approach or correct a mistake that was made. Finally, this is my personal opinion, but I always think that when you're working through your homework, you need to find a reason for your answer and or show your work. As I said, this is my personal approach, but I do take this strategy and actually I can apply it to any section of the test. If I'm looking at the writing language or English section, I'm thinking to myself, why do I need a comma here? I can give a reason why. Oh, I have a dependent clause here and it's connecting to an independent clause there. That's great because that validates my answer choice. However, I need time to practice that. Same can go for the math. Why am I using the quadratic formula? Well, my, you know, my uh, quadratic here, or my polynomial or binomial, uh, is not easily factorable. So I need to use this to solve for my x value to determine what my x-intercept is. By training your mind to really work through and finding your reasoning, which takes time and practice, it will enable you to validate your answers come test day so that you're not guessing randomly or I think this is right, but I'm not 100% sure. Now, obviously, each one of these ideas, organization, reviewing beforehand, allocation of time, not rushing, and finding a reason for your answer are just some ways to manage your SAT or ACT homework. I would also recommend talking with your tutor if you have one or talking to us at Prepped and Polished so that we can kind of help figure out what of these ideas can we apply to your homework strategy, but also for your student or for you specifically, how can we better manage the homework? Do we need to write everything down in a planner? Do we need to do check-ins or, you know, suggest days and times to work on it? We're always happy to help at Prepped and Polished, and as a tutor, I always want to make sure that each student has his or her correct approach and just ensure that there's any way that we can better his or her approach or strategies or organization, we're going to do that. If you have any questions specifically about these strategies, tips, or approach and organization, please feel free to contact us at preptandpolish.com or contact us over email or phone. This wraps up our show, episode number 236, How to Best Manage Your SAT or ACT Homework. Please be on the lookout for our next podcast, episode number 237. Thanks for joining us on the Prepped and Polished podcast. Now go out there and take control of your education. You've been listening to the Prepped and Polished podcast. For more information, check out preppedandpolished.com. Also, you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for listening. Class dismissed. Class dismissed.